I'll greet you from Hamza, not Hamza, from uh, Gilgit, and we are making our way towards Hamza Bunny. The original plan was to stay here for a day, but they've changed the plans, and we are now going to Hamza and we're going to be staying a couple of nights there and we'll be branching out from there uh, problem is a lot of the bikes have got issues a few suspensions have got completely ruined mine being one us has been the next second one and uh, Nalter Valley is uh, off-road trucks So Hamza Valley is not too far from here, a couple of hours, it's only like 100 kilometers, uh, should be easily done. Again, here's the best off-roader we have in the team, Zishan, he's been doing everything, river crossings, he's one of them riders, he'll see the river on the right and he goes, I'm going for it boys, and he just goes. No bucking out, no bucking out for him at all. He's just like, right, I'm doing it, boys. <laughs> he actually crossed that river there yesterday at its lowest point. And <laughs> he was dying, he fell. Well, he did fall once, get it out of it. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Exactly. Exactly. That was, a deliberate, that was on purpose, yeah? Just to show how hard, it, how tough it actually is. Yeah, you don't want to make it look easy, do you? <laughs> so that is Gilgit Valley where we stayed yesterday. Not yesterday, what the heck am I on about? Where we stayed <laughs> last night. <laughs> I think I need some more coke, boys. No, no, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, the phone's overheating, so I can't actually see how far uh, Hunza Valley is in kilometers, but I'm sure it's less than 100. Yes, I did. My bike kept cutting off every two minutes. But, I, I, no, no. It, st it sorted itself out probably about 10 kilometers before the fuel stop. But I, w I went a full hour of it constantly cutting off. Literally, I'll ride for like two, three minutes and it'll cut. It'll, uh, but it would have cut off, it'll go into limp mode. Up here, aren't
Is that dust ever I can see in the distance? No, no, it's work truck. No. So obviously you've got the sat nav on, it's showing one over 50, 89 kilometers to destination. So we've got the views there but, uh, immediately, the immediate views. Uh, the road is absolutely fantastic, smooth, and you can actually, this road's got a lot of grip on it, bro. You can actually see it. This road looks in between, you like in Spain, when I was riding in Spain. That's how this road surface used to like sparkle at you. And Devon, Devon roads are known for shredding your tires. G? Drop back a bit, did you say? What? Let who catch up to me, Akram? I'm now in... Oh, no, okay, sorry, sorry, say that. Shall I stop? Okay, stay on this side. Oh, what are you feeling? Okay, let me see. It, it, well, air's not an issue, innit? Uh, I'm just seeing if it looks a bit bent. It seems to be, but if it's, if you've it, got a bent rim, obviously you almost see that on the move, that's going to be when we stopped. So pull over somewhere, and let's take a look at it. Uh, on the left hand side there, yeah, see? I'm going to pull over. Uh, well, it causes vibrations. No, no, leave in the side stone, it's fine. <laughs> you just keep an eye on traffic. No, it's not the road, it's smooth, bro. Just stand it up. Straight. I'm looking at the wheel. No, no, take it, Vajan. Don't believe it. It's just a vibration. It's just a vibration. It's just a vibration. Yeah, it looks alright, bro. I can't see anything, uh, anything wrong with the wheel. Yeah, do that if you want. Do I, the only thing I'm thinking is, do you remember how many weights you had on your wheel? Because you've only got one single weight here. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking if our weight's fallen off. So no, it's not dangerous. No, no, it's not dangerous. No, no, there's no puncture. Yeah. No, there's no puncture. There's only, you've only got one single weight. 
So I'm thinking, I don't know how much you have to start off with. I'm just thinking maybe if one or two have fallen off with the... Yeah. That will cause the vibration as well. The last two days. Yeah. Oh, nice. No, it's good, it's <laughs> Yo, Jung should have come, man. He's missing gone so much. You know, fucking his bike up, fucking his suspension up. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, or just I know. We're actually on the Krakram Highway right now, aren't we? There's lots of dogs running around here, where we are. Yeah, Yo, there's loads of fucking dogs around here, man. What the fuck is going on? Look how... He's behind. It's a straight road though, you can't get lost. What the fuck is <laughs> You did this bike car, man. It's fucking dead. Something, man. It's about to go to the fucking barrier. <laughs> Building highways for uh, Pakistan.
Oh, I can hear you. I'm right here, but it's a good place for picture to get the mountain. Me, is it worth stopping? Oh, you can't see that mountain, but you can see that one. Oh, I wanted that view there as well. I think a bit further off of that one. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's your bearings, bro. It's not completely failed, but it's on its way out. So, uh, we were driving past this area, luckily I spotted uh, that on the right, which it turns out was uh, Rakaposhi mountain. Amazing, absolutely amazing. I want to park up somewhere where we can get the bikes and the pictures. On the right hand side there. Pull over, bro. Pull over. Uh, go a bit forward, one of you. See if there's a better parking spot where we can get the mountain in the picture. Look to your right. That's Rakaposhi Mountain. Or oh, should we just go on that dirt truck there? Might get a better picture there, actually. I'm going with that dirt truck. Yeah, just, just where the thing is parked. Yeah, I think I, I don't think you'll get a good view from there. I think from there we'll get a good view. Is it better on the bridge? Right, so Z found us this off-road truck. I'm going up to the cricket ground or some the view. Or some or it's, I don't know, some cricket ground up here. I've actually so far missed out the hardest part of the climb. Because I forgot to turn the GoPro on. I just saw indulgent actually fucking riding. It's leveled out a bit so it's got easier. But the views up here are looking quite awesome already. Oh shit, big rock. Could you see that? Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, wow. You know, the guy was a kidding. <laughs> so there it is. Raka Porsche on our right hand side, left hand side. Avoid the trees, sit back down. The truck that goes to the bottom, that's not it, is it? I think it's... I think they're the kids again. The kids. Let's try not to keep some dust up. How far on this truck are we going, bro? 
I've got dummy suspension. I've got dummy's goods here. No, I'm not gonna make this turn. I've gone to Ranganga, I should have fucking gone through that river. Go past me if you can. I fucked up, I should have fucking had momentum, gone through there. That's it, and gone around. I'll do it, but... How bad? Is it worth going up? Okay. I'm in the stream though. I'm stuck. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Right on. I'm down, boys. <laughs> How do I get back on the fucking bike now? <sighs> I'm stuck. Go if you can, boys. I'm stuck here. I hit the wrong angle. You want the hand, I do need one, bro. One second. Mine is. Yes. That's it. Just watch out. Carry on. Right, done. Yes. Yeah. You know what? I, I think I can hear my fucking clutch creaking. Yeah, just go for it, bro. My, it's my clutch, I can feel it in my deliver.
Is it getting hot? <laughs> Yeah, they're light bikes, bro. Two vans coming, you said. Oh yeah, see them, they're far away, yeah. Where are the ones? I am. I need to have to stop. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Just stop at the bottom where you are. No, no, stay where you are. Stay where you are. Look at you. Yeah. Oh. I'm going for it. If I get stuck, I'll call you. Get to know, okay?
You know, the truck is actually not very difficult, you know, it's actually an easy truck. It's just thin. The truck is actually easy. If you can hear me, it's a very easy truck. So come. See that they say. Take it. Thank you, Bajan. Wow. Twitch is not heavy. I mean happy. But wow, the view is definitely definitely worth coming up here. Bismillah. Come on then. Right, so obviously we made it to the top. Is it going to focus? It's not focusing on the mountain. Uh, this is the world's large, highest, sorry, the world's highest cricket ground right here. What are you looking at? Uh, imagine playing cricket and that being your view. Absolutely amazing. It was a very tough track getting here. <laughs> and we're going to obviously have a similar hard time going back down. Huh? No, you can't, you carry on. No, I should be okay. It's just that one line I took wrong, that's what it was. And going down, going down, it should be okay. Do it is because if I if I get stuck and you're right behind me, no, chances no, are. Yeah, yeah, this one no falls. No, no, carry on, crack on, crack on. Go. So off we go, back down the hill. This is the easy part, although a bit slippery, as you can see which part is being kicked up. Ooh. That is just creating a lot of dust for me, on purpose. While this truck is not difficult, this bit is very narrow for the bike, or should I say for my panniers. As you can see. I just need to make sure my panniers don't connect with anything and I should be okay if it hits anything I'll probably just end up on the floor that one coming up let's take it right there that one's coming up oh the family's walking down Sorry, go. Right, 
Right boys, I'm cracking on. So look at the view from here. Absolutely amazing. So this is the bit where Z originally drew. Ooh, 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 I lost it. Okay now. Boys, be careful on these stones, you know. Oh, shit. <laughs> there's a jeep com there's a jeep coming down if you can hear me boys there's a jeep coming up a jeep and a car coming up sorry come so just hang fire boys don't come down yet don't come down yet. There's two there's two vehicles coming up. Yeah, I can. No problems, I'll be at the bottom, bro. Just be careful on these rocks. They're fucking slippery. Then the GoPro won't show it. Oh, this is fucking very steep coming down and not fucking happens don't help there this is eased up a bit ooh 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 speed watch the speed ooh there we go start skidding <laughs> tower little break fucking hell that was tough. And it's not fucking over. This might be the better line. Oh, oh, lock, lock. I mean, don't lock. Here <laughs> from the edge, mate. Oh, that's it. This 
this track is it's so difficult going down you can only imagine what it was like actually coming up here Be very careful because if this bike picks up speed when you lose it you're fucking going over the edge you're not stopping this bike uh, as gentle as possible there there you go this bit why well, it's not too bad I still want to control it turn the bike get a bit oh because it's fucking going all the way down oh this one's not too steep, I'm happy to sit back down again. Fucking hell, it's a long way down yet. I thought I needed there, but now you can see the fucking road all the way to the bottom yet. See, we've been just climbed and climbed, and we didn't realize how high we actually could come. Well, essentially, we've driven up the size of the fucking mountain, haven't we? Oh shit. Oh, 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 oh. Can't afford to fuck up here. Definitely can't afford to fuck up here. Go to the left. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Sorry for the swearing, but this is fucking scary shit. The moment that bike starts running away from you, fucking hell, if it doesn't stop, you're fucking have to, just gonna have to jump off here, aren't you? And I hope it doesn't go off the fucking edge. Mm. Right, try to stand up again. He's running away. It wouldn't be as scary if there wasn't these fucking massive drops. But the fact that you know if it goes wrong, it's end up bike and end up fucking life potentially. Oh shit, I forgot about this stuff. It makes it all that little bit fucking more scary. Do we ride up a fucking river? See, I don't remember this. This means fucking slippery rocks. Oh fucking hell yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This is where I fucked the line up before so I need to go wide here. So I dropped my bike there because I ended up taking the wrong line. It was a drop drop, it was more of a fucking uh, wrong line. I lost momentum. Come to a standstill, try to accelerate. Bike skidded out from underneath me, gotta hold it up. So I just let it fucking sit down on his side. There's one of them, so unless I drop. But I think that tough section is over. I'll tell you what, the fucking pressure of my hands, the death grip you bloody give the bike, fucking hell. My hands are side hurting just coming down that. Right, who can I hear? So I can hear Z and us are coming down. I've just passed the, that river that we crossed. Yeah, it's eased up here. This is the easiest part now. And you can see how steep it is and how much I'm coming down. And I'm still not at the bottom. Oh, okay. 
And this line is good. Here, I hope nothing's coming. Okay, I can't fucking move my hand to be inside line here. Yep, still a long way fucking up. It's getting tough again. But this is not as steep, which makes it. Oh shit, I'm in second gear. Let's drop it back into first. Oh yeah, I know got knackered suspension. I saw I shouldn't even be off roading. So but here I am. Idiot. We just heard off roading, we thought let's do it. But we would regard this as a very, very tough track. I'm probably I say about halfway down. I don't want to go too fast because my suspension is fucking crashing away. You can probably hear it. Oh, another stream. And they're fucking engines. Time to get back into the pegs, coming up to difficult sections again. Drop it in gently, uh, keep it in there, uh, and cross it over here. There we go, nice and gentle, loose powder. Don't let the bike run away, don't drop into the rut. Good lad. This one, I think I will go here because I love better traction. On the rocks. Yep. Sit down for a second. Give my hands a little fucking rest. This one is not too steep, so I'm happy to cross over into the new stuff. Oh, there's a woman there working away. So I think I am near the bottom now. Okay, straight across. There we go. Right. Slow down. My bike doesn't like mud. Go straight as I can into the center. There we go. I think that's the fucking entry point. I think I'm near the bottom actually. Yep, I'm down. I'm down boys, so we can Is that a fucking shop? I deserve a fucking drink after that one, motherfucker. Right, so we are down from the uh, I think it's called something pissing sort of cricket ground or something. Which is right. All the way, well, there's the glacier, so we were all the way up there, next to the glacier. It was a tough climb, uh, but it was a lot tougher actually coming down there. This way for my opportunity to overtake this wheel.
so we are now back on route so now it's 25 kilometers or 31 minutes so we did have a few drops obviously mine you probably saw was a uh, bike slipped out from under me uh, when I was trying to move off and I took the wrong line I couldn't hold it up so I had to just let it go on the ground not a big deal uh, we ride Zishan's bike down twice on the way up and we've also had uh, Hans bike on the float twice on the way back down <laughs> as well so yeah not good but they're both okay that's the main thing Temperature is getting quite cold. There's another high mountain, I don't know which one that is, but I see that one on our right is Rakaposhi, it's 8000. Uh, you can actually can't even see the top on that one actually, in the clouds somewhere. And when I got some more details, when we get back into the hotel. I will give them to you, but as it stands, I don't know a lot about it. One thing I have done, which I kind of regret, is I've not put my earplugs in. But I'm thinking we've only got 30 minutes to go, so it should be okay. I am thinking of ditching the pin lock. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, because all it is doing is gathering a lot of dust. It's not a seal. It should be sealed, but it's not completely sealed. And it's just so like I've got. I've just put my visor down, and in between the pin lock and the actual visor itself, there's a lot of fine dust gathering, which it shouldn't be doing. It should be a fucking airtight seal. But obviously, this uh, something's gone wrong here. I've tried to have a look at it a couple of times. But obviously with no luck. Now Akram is carried on. Obviously we were a couple of hours doing that route. Maybe even more, I don't know. Akram must have got pissed off waiting. Uh, so I can imagine we might have another meeting. <laughs> But it's all good. He loves his meetings, by the way. Anything he's not happy with, he calls a meeting, which is fine by all of us. Just want to make sure I've got that in here. And oh, yeah, this is actually the Karakaram Highway we're on at the minute. It's just the first time since we've uh, been on the northern areas that we actually on the Karakaram Highway. Uh, this road, uh, I can't remember how long it took, I think it took well, uh, for 20 to 30 years to complete, somewhere in between there. Oh. And it is the uh, highest uh, paved road in the world. Uh, notice I say paved, not dirt. Uh, so it is the highest paved road in the world. And it goes all the way from here. Uh, well, it, it starts uh, soon after Muzaffarabad after leaving uh, Islamabad in Pakistan which is the capital and it continues all the way okay look at them jagged peaks and it continues all the way up to the uh, China border and it was built uh, in coalition with the Chinese I believe as well so half of their workforce half of Pakistani workforce
Sorry about that. I was overtaking the concentration that was go up. You stopped talking naturally. But anyway, where was I? I just sneezed, man. <coughs> yeah, so unfortunately, whilst building this road, uh, there was a lot of deaths. Uh, because A, at the, oh, wow, look at that. Sorry, I keep it instructed. But obviously, at the time, nobody understood the uh, hypothermia. And nobody understood hypoxia. So, a lot of workers did freeze to death. A lot of workers did lose uh, limbs. Uh, because they just froze. And they had to get amputated. bike actually sounds really, really loud but then again I've not got my earplugs in the so I wonder let's get some petrol in I think I tell you what, the route to Hunza is not disappointing at all. I mean, uh, every corner you're taking, massive fucking peaks. Sorry, I'm turning again. It's exciting. Everywhere, buddy, peaks, peaks. Clearly, because I do have my uh, visor open. I don't like mud at all. I'm gonna fucking get off this cooker. Oh, my bike is just banging over here. Just not tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Nietzsche. So we are going down. Oh shit, mud, mud, mud. I don't like mud. I'm going to fucking mud. Okay, there. 
Los. You fucking dickhead, you could have waited. Peaks, a lot of them are hidden. There's another group of bikers. I don't know what town we're driving through, but it's not the best thing to do. It's quite lively though. Hello? How am I hearing? Uh, we are just passing through this bazaar. Oh, there you are. Turn around, bro. Do a U turn. We stopped our fuel station. Yeah, we stopped our petrol station. How come you're coming back on yourself? Uh, did you see Akram? Okay. I can't hear you now, bro. I can hear you, but not properly, bro. What are you saying? I don't understand bro, you're gonna have to get I'm slowing down a bit, but you're gonna have to get closer. Have you gone past Hunza? Okay, we're going to that hotel though, so mommy let me park up and let me just let me discuss it with the Farhan saying that town we just passed, this town is Hunza. Is Hunza? This is Hunza. Oh. So, uh, away are still, we are still 10 minutes from our destination. Yeah. But you've got it on the map as well, as you can see. Yeah, I know. So, that's the hotel is further away from Hunza. Yeah. Has anybody scored out the hotel? No. So, what's he doing? He's just asking. He's coming here now. Right, okay, that's fine. So the area is called Hunza, the main area, Karimabad, is further ahead. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah, come on then, let's crack out. Okay. 
Yeah, Tahil's got that hotel, you know the one we said? Tahil's got that hotel on his navigation. So my camera turned off, took a little wrong turn, but the views here. Left hand turn. Oh shit. That girl was not going to be too happy. No, 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 no! It's down there. I thought it's fucking blocked. That car's blocked it. I thought, yeah, we need to go around. Hello? Are you here? I could hear you, but I, couldn't, I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? Hello? Wow. Fucking views are fucking amazing. This is like a hill station. You know, like when you go to Murray and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That did look good. So let's eye this one out first one we're going to. We're the scouting party now anyway. I heard Akram as well, so Akram is around here somewhere already. Right, so what hotel are we in? Hotel, so... Yo, that Baltese Fort, is that the one you've actually fucking looked at? The 
but dude, fourth one looks fucking rubbish. Unless we're supposed to go up there. Are we supposed to go up that hill? Oh, there's a wedding coming down. Well, as you say, just park it across here. That's a long way down. 